Today we're going to be learning about the water cycle. Now the study of water is also called hydrology and so it's also known as the hydrological cycle. Water can be found in three different states. Um, here's the first one, it can be found as liquid water or water droplets. Here's the second one, um, this is ice, so we know that water can be found as solid. And we also get water here, water within the air. Water within the air is known as water vapour. Now all the water cycle shows us is what water is doing in different places and um, within our world and within our atmosphere. Right, here is the uh, hydrological cycle and let's start with the basics. Um, these are supposed to be trees, these are supposed to be clouds, here is the ground and here is the sea. The first process we'll talk about is evaporation. This is where water drops turn into being water in the air or water vapour. Um, this occurs when you heat up water. So in a kettle, when the kettle boils, you can see the steam coming out of it and the steam is the water turning into being water in the air. In this clip, we can see water evaporating from a fence. You can see the steam coming off the fence and going into the air as water vapour. The absolute opposite is condensation. This is where water in the air or water vapour turns back to being water drops. This occurs where you cool down air, which has water vapour in it, and the water vapour forms water drops. We often see this on the inside of windows or after you've had a shower, you can see the condensation on the glass panes. The third process is precipitation. This is any way in which water falls out of clouds, i.e. rain, snow, sleet and hail. And our fourth main process is runoff. This is where water goes over the ground as rivers or streams or trickles um, and not into the ground. When water falls out of the sky, it might land on the soil or on other permeable surfaces. Permeable means that the water soaks down into the ground. Alternatively, the water might land on a hard concrete or tarmac or rock surface known as an impermeable surface. Um, in this case, the water can't um, go into the ground and it runs off over the surface. We call this process runoff. Another thing that can happen is the rain from the sky can land on vegetation. Now this process is called interception. In rugby and football, if someone's trying to pass the ball to another player and another player intercepts it, it means they get in the way, they stop the ball from going to where it should be. In this case, the rain is coming from the sky, trying to get to the ground, and the uh, bush is intercepting the water. Now this leads straight on to another phenomenon, the water is still dripping off the bush onto the ground. Now in geography, water coming off a tree or off a bush is known as stem flow and drip. Okay, so let's add three new processes on. Interception is where rain from a cloud hits a tree or hits a bush. Infiltration is where water soaks into the ground. And stem flow and drip is where water drips off bushes, trees and vegetation. The next stage I'd like to mention is transpiration, which is over here. The way a tree works is it sucks and absorbs water up through its roots, um, but the water's got to be going somewhere. Well, this is what happens. Trees' leaves are giving out water into the air all the time. They release water as water vapour into the atmosphere and that is called transpiration. We're going to concentrate now on what happens underneath the ground. Um, underneath the ground, um, the top layer of soil is unsaturated usually. Um, this means it is generally dry and water just travels through it. Whereas the saturated layer of ground means it's absolutely soaking wet, it can't absorb any more water because it's got so much in it. Unsaturated, saturated. The line that separates the unsaturated from the saturated ground is called the water table. 
If we get loads and loads and loads of rain, the water table will be higher within the ground. And if we don't have so much rain, the water table will sink lower in the ground as rivers carry the water away to the sea. Finally, movement of water through the unsaturated layer of ground is called through flow and flow of water through the saturated ground is called groundwater flow. There is our water cycle.